Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Eddie Marcus again. Today, I want to talk to you about selling out. Uh, I believe yesterday I did a post called uh, God is Searching for a Rosa Parks. And I indicated that uh, God is calling for someone to take on the responsibility of alerting the world about heaven on earth. And that um, this person would have to be as committed as Rosa Parks was to stop riding on the back of that bus. And here I am basically saying to you all of these years, 40, that as spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people, that includes all that God is trying to reach out and spread to the people, the public. And when I say God, I'm talking about truth. I'm talking about that which produces what we pray for. And um, I thought about you would probably ask yourselves, well, if he's advocate of basic human rights, why is God looking for someone to be that which he says he is, but not a Rosa Parks? And I wanted to answer that. Because it is very important for people who think that they're trying to do God's will. And it was like me. I remember just as plain as day when I sold out. <clears throat> when I came into this business of serving God, I was committed with all my being. I was alone. But I didn't like being alone. I wanted company. I wanted a wife. And I got a wife, a wonderful wife. But having come to this point where the most important thing to me is this message about changing society, we, the people, but the message has got to be given so the people can get it and people can engage themselves and indulge themselves in the process. And sometimes, you know, a message so far as that, goes against everything we've been taught. And uh, it's not easily accepted, so sometimes you have to go want to go to the extremes. But the time that uh, I can remember just as well <clears throat> is I think it was in the, seven, in the 80s, middle 80s, maybe somewhere around 86, 87, when we were having problems with the housing crisis. People were having problems with keeping their property. People were having problems with their problems with paying rent. Everything was just messed up. <clears throat> and I, speaking for God, when I could see beyond this thing, didn't know all the answers, not as much as I know now, but got to do something. So I thought that what I would do is take my family, me, my wife, and I think I had one child at the time. And uh, the plan was for me was to move up to the state capitol, just move up there. And on the front, dealing with hey as a protest, lose your apartment and just move up to the state capitol, and state your case on the state capitol, explaining to the state capitol through your situation that you find yourself in, explaining to them the process whereby this thing is supposed to work adequate for not just me but for everybody, and try to do it in such a way that even the legislators would question well, what they're doing, and maybe could begin to move in the process. <clears throat> so my wife looked at me and <laughs> said, I must be crazy moving up to the state capitol. So we made, she started making some adjustments to continue living someplace while I moved up to the state capitol by myself. And I think I stayed up there for about 10 days and for what I was trying to do with the family just didn't work with the one because so much was missing that was accepted as being part of the whole process. And I was there, so after about 10 days, I went back home and uh, where we found home to be. What happened at that moment in time 
was I had, I had to make a choice. And this is what all of us do all the time. Make a choice. I could have stayed out there. I could have done exactly what I was saying that we as a family could do that would work. I could have done it as an individual. And I did some things. You know, I broke the laws. I went to jail and prison trying to get attention. But it was the wrong kind of attention to maximize it to the public and probably get pu public benefit. So it was really a learning process for me because I did what I was supposed to do under the circumstance. So here we are, if I sell out, I want to do like everybody else now. I want to keep talking, keep talking. Maybe somebody else 